Hi, Spamplin. Yeah, hi. Can you please show your government ID, Blue? Oh. Yeah, no, it's clear. Bring closer to cam. Yeah, okay, you can take it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you please give a quick intro? Yeah. Okay. Mm, can you please explain your roles and responsibilities in the current project? Yeah. So, currently, uh, in my project, this is a web application and I'm doing manual testing as well as automation testing. So, first we do manual testing, whatever the features that are deployed in QA, first we do manual testing. After that, we select a few test cases uh, uh, for the automation and we do the automation testing as well. Okay. Yeah. Out of 100, how, uh, how, how much percentage you are doing automation in your project? Uh, out of 100, uh, I'm doing... Uh, scope of automation, I'm asking. Okay. So likely 60 to 70 percent we automate. Okay, how do you select test cases or whether it is eligible for automation or manual? How do you select? We have 100 requirements in scope. Yeah. Uh, do, you, uh, do you go with uh, all 100 with automation or how you will select which, uh, which uh, requirements are eligible for automation, which are not eligible for automation? How do you select? Uh, like. Uh, all the major and complex uh, test cases we automate, like we do have the, the project that is uh, in IoT best and we do have the some hardware also involved in that and majorly we have the gateways and we have to create the gateways, upload the gateways, reject the gateways, all these fun functionalities are there. So all the major functionalities we cover in the automation and that will save our time. So and also that are the part of regression. Okay, do you have experience in API integration also? Uh, yes, right. But we do okay, the API I... testing in uh, Postman only right now. Oh, it's, it's only manual, right? Yeah. Okay. How do you rate yourself on Java on scale of 1 to 5? 5 being the highest? On Java, I'll rate myself 4. Yeah. Okay, can you please share your screen? Yeah, now I'm able to see. Uh, can you please open the uh, browser and uh, open the online Java compiler? Okay. Okay. Okay, we have array, array having some numbers. Uh, you need to sort that array into the uh, descending order. Array is having random numbers. I'll okay. give you the random array. Okay. Sort the array into descending order. Numbers you are putting. Yeah, I sent you in the chart window. Okay. Array list. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay. Can you please start the same array in this ascending order? Yeah. Okay. Um, consider the uh, stream. I am working in Infosys. Your voice is little bit breaking. I am working in Infosys stream. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Are you able to hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Can you please check in the chat window? Okay. Uh, check in the chat window. You need to revert the string without removing the spaces. I want to reverse the string, not, not the reverse the uh, string words. What I mentioned is you need to reverse the string without reversing the sentence uh, words. Okay, okay. Hello. Hello. Sapne live. Hello. Yes. I want to execute with spaces. You hear, I, I'm, I can able to see without spaces in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh, console. Uh, but I am asking you to write without removing the space, right? Yes, right. Okay, what is the difference between string builder, string buffer and string? Actually, string is a representation of the characters in Java. And a string is a not mutable, immutable. So that's why there are string builder and a string buffer. So. Uh, we can uh, string builder and string buffer are the mutable 
so the string buffer is not synchronized and string builder is uh, synchronized and thread set what is the difference between final final and final Final is uh, used with the method variables and uh, class. So, if we use the final keyword with the uh, class, then that class cannot be inherited. If we use with method, then that method cannot be overridden. And if we use with the variable, then it becomes the constant. And uh, finally, is a block that is uh, used in uh, exception handling, and uh, th that is a uh, like uh, if accession is occurred or not occurred it is uh, executed it is used for closing the resources like uh, closing the db connection or the closing the files finalize finalize no i am not sure okay can you please explain the visibility level of access modifiers Oh, uh, sorry. Visibility level of access modifiers. Access modifiers. Okay. So uh, Java, uh, there is a access modifier. Then private. No, I am not asking about that. What are the access? I am asking the visibility of uh, access modifiers from high to low. Oh, uh, visibility means uh, you are asking uh, uh, regarding private, protected, public. That one only. No need to explain what is private, private protected, and all. Okay. Can you explain that uh, visibility level of those uh, access modifiers? Okay. So uh, private has only uh, class accessibility and visibility. Then protected has only class and subclass of, uh, accessibility. Then we have the. No, no. I am asking no high to level. Which one comes first, second, third, fourth? You can say that visibility levels. No need to explain class level and package level. Don't okay. need to explain that under. Okay. So uh, first is a uh, public, then we have default, then we have pro protected, then we have um, private. Is it correct? Yes. Okay. I'm asking you visibility level. Hierarchy. No, I'm not sure. Okay. What is the difference between constructor and a method? Uh, constructor is a member method of the class and it has the same name as a class name and don't have any return type and uh, mostly used for initialize the uh, instance variable of the class and uh, method is a in which we write our execution steps and we can reuse it. Can we overload the static method? No. Can you please explain what is static method? Uh, static methods are class specific and we can access them with the reference of the class name and no need to no need to uh, create the object of the class for that. What are the main interfaces in collections? Collections uh, main interface is iterable. Yeah. Have you get chance? Uh, have you get chance to use collections in your project? Yeah. Okay. What the what the difference between list set and queue? Like uh, in our project list, uh, we use the list for the storing the elements when we want to work with the multiple elements. So we use the list and uh, okay. How you store the elements using the list? Can you please explain? Sorry. How you store the elements in the list? Uh, you said that you we have used list in your project for storing the elements, right? Yeah. Right. When we want to work with multiple elements and we want to store the multiple elements, that time we use the list. So we have the method driver dot find elements using that uh, method it will return the list of the elements that are matching with the locator and uh, we can store it in our list can you please explain the duplicate no uh, yes 
list allows a duplicate but uh, set don't allow any duplicates okay then based upon how we it will be stored uh, like uh, index based or any uh, unordered uh, how it will be list maintains the insertion order like uh, in which order we store the values okay. it will maintain the order of that insertion how, you, how do you take screenshots for file element can you write uh, selenium script for that one in the chart window uh, not uh, online java compiler only you can write here only yeah. So there is an interface in Selenium, text screenshot. First, we need to cast uh, the interface with our driver instance, and after that, we can uh, use the get screenshot as method, and we need to we need to provide the output type. Okay, where you can share, say with that shared screenshot, and uh, how we can specify the driver path and all. Sorry. Where you can capture the screenshots? Uh, after capturing, we can store it our uh, local, uh, like in our directly in our project only. And here we need to provide the path of our directly, where we need to store our screenshot. So this is the utility class. Using that, uh, we can copy the file. Okay. Okay. No problem. Are you part of Agile team? Uh, yes. Okay, what is the duration of your project? Right now it is uh, two weeks. Okay. Yeah. What are different agile ceremonies? Uh, ceremonies are like uh, sprint planning, we have, then we have scrum call, uh, retrospective meetings, these are the ceremonies. Okay, when do you mark the defect as default? So, if the defect is uh, not in the current scope, the part of current scope, that time we uh, defer the defect. Okay, Sapnil, I done from my side. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Uh, like I have the question like, uh, is this position for uh, specifically for the automation or it is like uh, manual plus automation? And what type of... Uh... No, 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 it's specific for automation only. Okay. But it's overall uh, Infosys fight. Uh, uh, we are taking interview, but uh, depends upon the client, your project will be. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, but I am not sure uh, it will be 100% automation. It depends upon the client and your project. Uh, okay. It okay. might be 80 to 80% automation, 20% manual, or either 100% automation. It depends upon your uh, client. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, okay, Sapniel. Thanks for joining the call. Have a nice day. HRT will get back to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.